hi guys welcome back to the channel it's jay so we have made it to the second room i had to drive around a little bit trying to enjoy myself meantime i'm here on my vac vacation but i really feel like i needed to do a collective read all right so i have my water in front of me not my water but this is it used to be my water now it's my soda my ginger ale you probably hear some noises outside i'm on um, the balcony and um there's people out there in their car i guess waiting for their room to be ready i'm not sure so let's see what the angels have for you when it comes to messages all right if this does resonate you might hear talking as well it's funny nobody was talking on the balcony until i came out here hmm so all right if it resonates you guys just remember to like the video so we do have the chariot all right that's shown up in your reading I definitely feel like there is someone that wants to come to you I feel like this could be a cancer um, for some of you I definitely feel like this person wants to come to you but something is holding them back okay um, they're like saying it's not yet not quite yet or they can't at this moment let's see what follows yeah some of you might be married to this person um, it's just not going very well or you guys live together it's just not going very well for you and this person is a lot of like friction a lot of like tension in the house this is what I'm seeing with your 11-11 um, being in reverse okay um, there is a situation that needs to be resolved here obviously um, this person knows this and feel this and I feel like they're kind of like avoiding this because you know confrontation not everybody likes to do it everybody likes to stay away from it and I feel like this person knows this now as I am picking cards here I'm seeing the judge justice in reverse as well for some of you, you might be dating a Libra okay but I definitely feel there is some unfairity going on here okay and this person knows that they're treating you so unfairly you want to know the truth okay you want justice this person is not giving you the justice the clarification that you need about the situation also collective i feel like there's less and less conversations here you know in the sorts being in, in reverse like there is a lack of conversation there's a lack of looking in each, in each other's eyes understanding each other um feeling some kind of connection for each other i'm, I'm not sure where i'm supposed to be looking y'all I, I i am definitely not so just this this the heads up okay and i feel like the angels are watching you know the angels are watching this person okay twin flame connection have a lot of love here i kind of figured there was a lot of love because the, you know the chariot represents love as well like this person knows they love you they care about you but they're just having this hard time showing it because i feel like this person doesn't really know how to love if that makes sense like they just don't know how to show their affection to someone that really means a lot to them and let them know that really you're important to me and also i'm feeling like this person like whatever they're learning right now is from you you know and it's like what is this i'm just hearing like what is like this person is saying what is this what is this feeling um and they can't figure it out quite yet but they know it's something because they can't stop thinking about you you know they're like oh my god you know they're like pulled to each side it's like they want to go here they want to go here they don't know they're not sure which way to go you know they're kind of stuck in their head at this moment but i just feel like with the lovers being here with in the upright this person definitely wants to come towards you want to tell you something want to share something with you wants to be with you there's a lot of physical attraction here as well for you and this person oh my god i feel like it's going to be not a problem for this person to reach out okay because i feel like they will if you haven't even talked to this person in justice okay because it's in reverse the justice the understanding the balance is in reverse and i feel like this person is going to is going to make their way towards you but when they do i feel like it's going to be more physical it's not going to be with love if that makes sense you understand so it's more about the physical aspect of the body and the attraction that they have for you and what they feel at that moment which is like you know of course making love to you and all of that but it's no kind of like future what is next after that i feel like this person can't provide that for you because either there's a third party here because they're stuck they're stuck when it comes to their heart okay um 
unfortunately. So let's see here. Where was this? Okay. Okay, so we have, what else we have? We have the Seven of Wands, and then we have the King of Wands. And I definitely feel like there's a lot of immaturity here with this person's energy. There is like, I will wait for things to calm down. I have the control of this relationship. I have the upper hand here. This is kind of vibe that I'm feeling with this King of Wands in reverse. It's like, I, you know, it's like I'm hearing I, 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 um, you have to understand, you have to back off, you know, or else I'm going to be immature about it. You know, this person is going to be very immature. I feel like this person's already immature, honestly, the way they are acting and I'm definitely feeling some kind of control here like they're um, hiding something from you like they're trying to say they're protecting you from their past okay with these wands but not necessarily I feel like they're trying to keep the truth from you they're trying to be guarded they're trying to you know you know um, block the doorway from people that are opportunists the people that want to tell you things and you know speak the truth about this situation and I feel like they're trying to hide that and block that opportunity from you but you know this card and me with this history that I have with this card I one thing I can say about it they can try and try and try as much as possible but I just feel like this person eventually will lose control of the situation I feel like for some of you your person might be blackmailed um, you know trying to you know make everybody happy make all these wands happy because they feel like everybody's out to get them you know they're never taking responsibility and saying oh my god I did this I'm sorry it's my fault I should have did this better no they're saying that that person is out to get me don't believe them don't believe this person they're just out to get me with well, the seven of wands here I feel like they're trying to stand up for themselves here That's like the initiative that they're they're using. I'm trying to stand up for myself. That's what I'm hearing here. Ooh, look at this. It might be just too late when this person comes back to you because I feel like at this point you're done. You're like giving up on this person. Then we have the Queen of Swords. You're done with the nonsense. You're going to be very, very, like, guarded, and I'm also seeing, like, but you're not going to let this person know that, of course. I feel like you're going to be more as, like, trying to understand where this person is coming from, but at the same time, you're finally standing up for yourself. You're trying to take back your power, okay, from this person, and I see that you're doing that, you know? Um, you're going to be very open to communication, but at the same time, this person is going to know where you're coming from. It's not going to be nice. Um, let's just say that. You know, I feel like you are closing chapters. You're putting an end to a situation, an end to relationships with this Ten of uh, Swords here. I also feel like you're at different chapters in your life. You're not with the bullcrap, okay? You're just not. You're being very secretive, very calm to yourself, not really um, showing any kind of emotions to this person if you love them or not. I'm seeing twin flame connection, so obviously this is a passionate bond between you and this person. All right? I feel like it was based on intimacy other than the heart at first okay and it kind of like grew into more from there okay all right so let's see here tell me more mm, yeah you're ending it six of swords in reverse you're putting a stamp on this um for you at least you know this is what you're thinking this is what you're feeling um you know at the moment and at this time it's like you're trying to not only move away from this person and have and have no communication with this person you're kind of like shutting the door about this I feel like this um the way this person have been acting for some of you and I'm seeing like the two, why am I going back to the two of uh the four of wands and the justice here I'm seeing some court issues this could be a marriage you guys A marriage married to your twin flame wow very very passionate connection here this person is gonna always try to be in your life you have a fight to prepare for when it comes to your freedom okay I feel like they just don't understand like if you are willing to leave them they don't understand why they feel like you have to fight for things that you want, 
and put up with the <laughs> the slackness the nonsense until the very end and especially if you guys married to this person mm. how interesting is that tell me more angels about this energy for the collectives okay hmm the nine of pentacles i'm seeing a lot of money that's being lost here i feel like you guys um built a lot together you guys built um you guys could have met on on your journey of finding out what you truly want or what your deepest desire of your heart was, which is your career, the things that you're doing now, the thing that make you happy, the things that bring in the money. But I feel like um, there is a connection between you and this person when it comes to your money. Um, for some of you, you might just be working with this person. You might have a business with this person. This person's name is on the the loans or whatever the case may be. It's a tie, and I feel like now. You have to separate yourself from this person and your money. You know, it's kind of like everything that you have put into this. Because you see the court situation that I picked up for some of you, especially some of you that are married. I feel like this person is like being very unfair to you when it comes to the courts. Um, trying to use everything against you. Trying to take everything against uh, away from you. All right. And I feel like you're going to have to. And the reason why they're doing this is because, of course, they don't want to lose you. It's kind of like payback is, a, uh, you know. Um, but I feel like you're going to have to settle when it comes to your money, when it comes to your home. Because I'm seeing like you were financially stable, like together, both of you are financially uh, free. But this separation is is, is causing you to like live on things that you haven't lived on in a while sorry about that noise you guys i think i'm gonna go and move in after this move back into the, the room so there is more messages fall to the floor okay i'm trying to pick up the card but it clearly is on the floor okay <laughs> sorry y'all awkward position all right so <laughs> awkward all right we have the five of pentacles which is just like a lot of debt that i'm seeing a lot of debt um this is your home so for some of you when you go home i mean this person is not very welcoming i'm seeing like something about the locks being changed or your your stuff being packed um a lot of things that this person is doing behind your back here and I feel like you're going to have to take up the responsibility um, of the bills. Even though this person is trying to go after everything that you guys build together, if you guys are married. But if you guys are just in a relationship relationship, I just feel like this person is really just causing you a lot of depression. Um, what is that? What is that noise? Oh my gosh. I hate when they have trucks like that. It's so annoying sorry guys um i definitely feel like you're going to have to take up all the responsibility especially with the loan okay <laughs> with the loan okay for those of you who signed something for this person whether it is a house or a second house okay or a car or something like that some kind of huge loan you're going to be responsible for this person is going to let that go this is something that you have to prepare for because i feel like there's going to be a lot of the responsibilities falling on your end it's just going to be unjust this is what i'm seeing here all right so we have some few cards that fell on the floor here so i'm going to take them we have the four of pentacles you need to take care of your money you guys you, you this person is very selfish um they don't want to give you any time i don't feel like this person wants to start over from scratch i feel like you're telling this person look if we want to make things work here we're gonna have to get to know each other from the beginning okay you're gonna have to be patient you're gonna we're gonna probably have to be friends for a while but for now i definitely feel like we can't we can't be together you know and this person is not having that i feel like they want to just jump right into where they left off all right 
we have the three of wands here there's something that happened between you and this person where this person didn't go after you i feel like you make this person made you feel like you weren't the one that they wanted um i'm also seeing like this person might have left you for a third party but here they are returning to you okay there's a lot of secrets here that's being hidden from you and i kind of got that energy um twice over because i saw the moon um with the ten of swords and now i'm seeing it with the eight of cups okay sorry about that let me pause that and come back yes so we have the sun here in leo for some of you, you might be dating a leo all right um i'm seeing some kind of happiness that's coming towards you i'm also seeing some kind of um a blissful moment here and i feel like this is going to happen when you actually free yourself and say you know let go of things that you can't control let go of the fact that you might not have it all you know you might have to start over again from the four of pentacles and build yourself back up here and just like take this experience and be very careful in the next one and make sure stuff like this don't happen make sure you have contracts that you sign together you know whether or not who's going to be responsible for this and who's going to be responsible for that when it comes to huge loans like that okay but i'm also seeing the eight of pentacles for some of you you need to be very careful here not only with spending but your job something about a business something that you worked and put your hands really in um that is going to fall apart so i'm really just feeling like you guys opened a business together and you're gonna lose everything i don't know i why am i feeling like this is going to be like a settlement like you're gonna have to sell it because we have the emperor here and then we have the seven of cups hmm. there's a lot of um things going on here i feel like this person the reason why they're not making things work with you is not only because you know there's someone else but they're busy in the streets it's not like they want to be settled down with you or anyone else i feel like this person is still just having fun in life when it comes to relationship okay and i'm also seeing the emperor here i feel like this person is just very content about this they're not willing to change a lot of stubbornness as well with their personality is like whatever they say it's very hard to change their minds even though you know it's the right thing for them to do it's like they're just not having it they don't want to really listen to you i feel like they want control and the whole time i was doing this reading you guys from the beginning i said like you are trying to take your power back from this person because this person feel like they totally have it they totally have you and for you to just get up and go they're kind of like questioning like who is in your head you know because i feel like they're saying like this is not you what are you, what are you talking about like where you think you're going you're not going anywhere like this is their personality um let me see what the angels have for you when it comes to messages okay collectives please wow you have the world so there is going to be a lot of things that should happen um, i feel like there is like a contract on in the spiritual world for you where you are meant to have certain things happen in your life and this is like magnified okay so you have this feeling that change is coming and you are right it is coming and i feel like um, this is going to be completed within the next year for you like things are going to be brought to light here um, you don't need to worry. This is what I'm hearing. All right. Let's see what follows that. You're going to have to do a lot of healing because clearly you wanted this relationship. Okay. You wanted this person, you know, um, and this person broke your heart. So I feel like this is like, why am I getting like it's more than, it's just not this person. It's like other people too that disappointed you. It's just that the icing on the cake here but i'm here i'm here and here healing you guys you got to heal okay before you jump into another thing i feel like the message also is for you guys is like when 
you're going through something you need to heal before getting into another relationship you tend to jump into another relationship instead of healing and then you experience the same thing i'm getting a cycle here door to spirit door to spirit so we have number nine number 32 or number 29 for those of you who that resonates with But I feel like I'm hearing like be patient. That's what I'm hearing. Like the fine timing is at play here. Prepare yourself for a storm because it is coming, you guys. Change, transformation, a shift, even death. Death, for death to happen, life, you know, if death don't happen, life can't happen. So it's like it's it's a it's a cycle, you know, it has to happen. And um, a lot of things are going to be ending. A lot of things are going to be transforming into something better. So it's like everything that is hurting you, um, you got to really turn that into a positive because you're just here to learn, right? So let's see. Ooh, I'm seeing new collaboration. So I'm seeing the end of a lot of things, but new things are also coming. And even on the back of the deck, you have door to romance as well so a new relationship so i'm seeing new collaborations new opportunity for business new opportunity for money for friendships i'm seeing new opportunity for love and you know a lot of other old situations whether it is friends family um your your love life is coming to an end so i'm gonna end this here you guys because it was way too loud out here on the balcony i thought i was gonna have some peace of mind on this balcony but i feel like there's just too many things going on out here so i'm gonna go inside and continue this and i hope this video resonated for all of you and i love you guys and i'll see you guys in your next one bye guys